This is a quick check to see how the DME IPC process controller works. It's a single zone little controller, just has a contact closure when the process pressure goes above a set point. Right now we have a little button sensor hooked up to the extension cable and it's plugged into the back of the unit. When you get the unit out of the box, you'd have it in monitor mode and you'd first of all put this thing into the CAL mode right here, which is the quarter inch pin uh, on the 2,000 pound sensor. It says CAL in red and then you push this thing into the CAL zero mode, the zero CAL mode that's in red ink here also. First thing you'd do is you'd set your zero until the display read zero, and then you'd press the CAL button and then dial the CAL number in until this reads 890, which is actually 8,900 PSI because there's a X10 down here. There's a zero that's not shown. Next thing you would do to set this thing up is I'd go into the set point and I'd dial in about an 850 degree set point right here. And this is just to test it on the bench, okay, to make sure things are running right. I'll switch it into control mode. Notice that I'm going to go back to the, either the pressure track or the pressure peak. It doesn't really matter which mode. But what will happen is, is when I push this cal button, it would be like I'm loading this button down in injection molding. Okay, look it. When I put it on there, it went above the set point of 850, but the green light did not come on. What I have to do is I've got a little jumper here, and I'm going to connect the injection forward signal on pins 1 to 2 on the back of the unit to simulate injection forward of the machine. Now the injection forward is set. When the process sensor actually goes above the 890, notice the green light goes on and the relay contacts in the back of the unit will stay latched on now, even when the signal disappears. Okay? This will not reset until the next injection forward signal. Um, you have to remove the injection forward signal from that jumper on pin 1 to 2 and then reconnect the jumper for the next injection signal. If we go to peak pressure signal, what will happen now is, is when the, when the mold pressure goes up over the set point of 850, notice that it will hold the maximum peak pressure when I remove the signal and the green light will stay on until I remove my injection pressure. When I remove my injection pressure, then the unit resets itself. That's it.